Be watchful, be, be, be alert. My dear friends, Advent is always a new beginning. It marks uh, the beginning of the liturgical year, during which we will listen uh, to readings from the Gospel of St. Mark, and we start preparing for Christmas. In this first Sunday of Advent, we reflect about the importance of being prepared because we don't know when we will meet the Lord. The coming of the Lord will not take place at the end of time or when we die, as the message of the Gospel told us last week in the solemnity of Christ the King. God comes to us constantly in the person of those who need our help. What should we do? We should have our eyes open to realize when the Lord comes to our lives. God comes to us in different ways. It could be through a friend who calls us by phone to talk to us about his or her problems, or through a relative who needs our attention or our company, or through a stranger who passes by us and needs our help. Many Christians, perhaps, are distracted and do not realize that the, the Lord has come to their lives. What has happened to them? Pride, individualism, feelings of superiority will not let them see what is going on around them. When we concentrate on ourselves, we cannot realize that there is someone next to us who needs our help. What could we do to be and stay alert? We should give to our spiritual lives the importance it deserves and not all allow that the things of our daily lives will keep us from praying. We should reflect with the Word of God, receive the sacraments and do acts of kindness and mercy. As Christians, we should be doing our work constantly. Jesus expects that we, his disciples, will take care of making him present in our world. Are we prepared to meet the Lord? Jesus warns us, be alert. Welcome. Welcome to St. Augustine Catholic Church. We want to welcome especially all of you who are joining our community for the first time. Today we celebrate the first Sunday of Advent. Please silence your cell phones or any other devices that may disturb our celebration. Jesus is coming. Jesus has come to us in our time and will come to us again. He tells us to not allow the anxieties of our daily lives to take our focus away from waiting in joyful hope for the coming of the Lord. Let us make time to focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. This Mass is being offered for the deceased members of the Zani family, for Lucy Vega, and for Kenny Pulowski. Now as we begin our celebration, please stand and greet one another.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends in Christ, today we begin the season of Advent. It is a time of watching and waiting for the coming of the Lord. The Advent wreath reminds us of our yearning for God. Its circular shape tells us of God's everlasting love and faithfulness. Its uh, evergreen branches tell us of eternal life and of God's desire for us to live with Him forever. The four candles remind us uh, of the passing of time, our human history into which God has entered uh, through His Son, Jesus. This is a time of grace, a time for a new advent of Jesus into our lives. On this first Sunday of Advent, uh, we focus uh, on the Lord's uh, second coming. Let us heed the gospel words of Jesus. Uh, be watchful, be prepared. As we bless this wreath uh, and light the first candle, May its flame be thus to be always ready for the coming of the Lord. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the candles of this wreath, May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. 
through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father. Our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways and harden our hearts so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. Oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down with the mountains quaking before you. While you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from of old. No ear has ever seen, no ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have all withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay and you the potter. We are all the work of your hands. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling a road. He leaves home and place his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on the watch. Watch, therefore. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at the cock crow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and found you sleeping. But I said to you, I say to all, watch. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear community, ABC, NBC, CNN, Fox, uh, Twitter, Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, uh, Messenger, uh, Google, YouTube, uh, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, and all other broadcast uh, and digital services all have something in common. They all want us to pay attention to the programs, messages, and images they set before our eyes and ears. They want our attention because while our minds are focused on their 
enticing contents, they can cleverly direct our attention to the products they are selling or to the ideas and opinions they are advocating. The success these social media companies have in grabbing and holding our attention can be seen in the fact that many people are unable to be separated from their devices that connect them to the digital world. They are afraid to miss a post, a notification, a like, a message, a tweet, or a new viral sensation. Such obsession with social media and sources of entertainment can distract us from what is far more important in life. Have you counted the hours you spend browsing social networks? In today's gospel, Jesus warns us, be watchful, be alert. That warning, which comes on the first Sunday of Advent, is very appropriate as we begin the liturgical year of 2021. While the words of Jesus are often seen as just telling us to be ready for the Lord's return in glory, those words can have a more immediate message as well. They can be warning us to be watchful and alert to the presence of the Lord right now. For Jesus Christ, who will one day return in power and glory, comes into our world in subtle ways at the present time. The Lord comes when the scriptures are proclaimed, when Mass is celebrated, when Christians gather in prayer, when the poor and suffering are served, when time is given to silence and meditation, when family members eat and speak together, when kindness, compassion, and forgiveness are valued more than power, popularity, and wealth. However, if we are to recognize the presence of God in our lives, we need to be watchful and alert. Perhaps the way to begin is uh, to be more consciously aware of the media that is continually buying for our attention and distracting us from what is ultimately most important. As Jesus tells us, be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the Lord of the house is coming. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. May we not be so snared and distracted by social media that we miss the presence of the Lord in our lives. Be watchful. Be alert. Good advice for this new liturgical year.
at this moment, uh, I call forward to the catechumens and candidate to the full communion with our church. Come with uh, your catechists. My dear friends, this community now sends you forth to reflect more deeply upon the word of God which you have shared with us today. Be assured of our loving support and prayers for you. We look forward to the day when you will share fully in the Lord's table. Go now in peace. As we continue our celebration, please stand as one family, let us profess our faith together. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Christ came to bring us salvation and has promised to come again. Let us pray that we may be always ready to welcome him. For the church, that the that we might prepare our hearts for Christ's coming into our lives, especially during this holy season of Advent. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all our elected leaders, that they might prepare the way for the coming of the Lord by fostering harmony, authentic dialogue, and sincere concern for their pe people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our community of faith, that this writ might constantly remind us to prepare for the coming of Christ and for all the intentions presented through our line prayer requests. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, especially those in our parish and in our families, may God grant them healing and restoration. And for our brothers and sisters who have died, that they might live in the light of and peace of God's presence forever, especially for the deceased members of Sunni family, Lucy Vega, and Kenny Pawlowski. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, as we look forward to the coming of your Son, fill us with your mercy and answer our prayers. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we pray, O Lord, that these offerings we make gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at the last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, that your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with the Spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you that are worshiping with us uh, through Facebook, at this moment I invite you to make uh, an act of a spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. My dear community, just a kind reminder that communion will only be given on the hand. Receive communion in your hand by preparing a worthy throne for our Lord. Please remember that you have to consume the body of Christ in front of the minister. If you are not going to receive communion, we appreciate that you approach the minister with your hands on your shoulders. You will receive a blessing. This is to facilitate the movement of people in the pews. Please do the following in your pew. Lower your mask. Use your personal hand sanitizer before communion. You will be instructed to come forward for the reception of Holy Communion by section, we divided our parish in four sections, section A, section B, that includes the parishioners that are sit down at the back, section C, and section D. This includes the parishioners that are sit down at the back. Please wait on your pews and follow the usher's instructions. The first two sections that we receive communion today will be section A and C. Keep space using signs on floor, once you have consumed the body of Christ, please put your mask back as you return to your seat. Thank you for your attention.
make straight the road Rings the valleys and the mountains made low Turning from sin, let the broken be whole
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for our announcements. Thank you everybody for being with us today. Uh, are you ready for a cold weather that will be here, yes? Yes? <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> Be prepared, so be prepared. <laughs> With all your uh, respect, I want to say thank you for all the people that are following us, following us and worshiping with us through Facebook. This is uh, our question for today, so be ready, be prepared, and uh, when you see the question, uh, you can start to put your comments there in Facebook. Are you prepared or are you distracted? Oh my God, in that last uh, image there, no social distance, no mask. <laughs> put, put your comments there in Facebook and I invite you to go to our Facebook uh, <laughs> page and put also your comments. Uh, so <laughs> these are our announcements. Uh, join us for exposition of the Blessed Sacrament on December 4th after daily mass 9.30 to 10.30 a.m. Then we will continue with a 24-hour virtual prayer vigil ending on Saturday, December 5th, uh, with Mass on the first Saturday of the month. You will be able to access this event through our parish's Facebook and our parish website. This weekend, we will be handing out bags for non-perishables groceries 
please uh, bring your food bags back next uh, weekend, December 5th and 6th, uh, the Knights of Columbus uh, will uh, receive your, uh, receive your um, bags uh, in the parking lot. Thank you. Our Advent giving tree is in the narthex. Please consider making a donation and sharing the joys of Christmas with someone in need. Choose an ornament from the tree. Each ornament is labeled with a gift item. Purchase your gift and attach the ornament to the gift. Bring your unwrapped gift to the church before December 14th. Uh, please check this weekend's uh, bulletin. You check online our electronic bulletin. For you, you can take a, a copy of uh, our bulletin that is in the narthex. Uh, thank you. Also, last but not least, thank you for all your contributions. If, when you enter the Mass, if you not put uh, your donations in the basket, you can do so when you uh, leave uh, our uh, Mass. Thank you also for all of you that uh, bring it back uh, your uh, envelopes with your commitment uh, card. If you receive uh, our letter, uh, please, uh, uh, as soon as possible, bring your envelope uh, and your uh, commitment uh, card to uh, our parish office or bring it uh, next uh, weekend. The word among us is uh, the book uh, with uh, reflections uh, and prayers for Advent. It's available at the narthex. Uh, it's just $2 uh, per book. Uh, and I think, I believe that uh, that is uh, uh, the last of the books. So take this opportunity to Pick one, give $2 donation if you want to give uh, a gift for somebody for this uh, Advent, it will be great gift for Advent. Also, help us to reach our parishioners, the ones that are not here with us. In the narthex are this beautiful car that we uh, prepare, it's an initiative that uh, uh, is in the cathedral also. And this is a beautiful uh, card. This, this card has uh, prayers for each week of Advent. Also have a um, recommended act of kindness that you do for each week. What we want. Take one for you and pick two, three, four, and bring it to somebody that is not here with us. Help us to reach our parishioners. So this is a gift for you, for our community, for our family uh, to prepare for Christmas. Bring it, call them. Hi, I will give you a gift from our parish. Mm -hmm. Don't you worry, I will keep my mask, open the door, I pass to you. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll put it in the uh, front door or in the mailbox, so uh, thank you. Please stand for our final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, prepare the way of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the darkest times of life When our lights refuse to shine You are there, you are there When our hearts become like stone When we build 